Welcome to Headhunters, the quiz show that puts a price on knowledge. Today's three headhunters are school teacher Stephen, facilities manager Victoria, and legal writer Anna. Earlier, they earned their headhunter positions by answering three qualifying questions correctly. But do they think they've got what it takes to win today's rollover jackpot that currently stands at £4,300? Or will our three headhunters need some help from our talent pool? If they want to get some extra brains on board, they'll have to offer them a slice of that jackpot to tempt them onto their team. Stephen, Victoria and Anna, you are today's headhunters. You all were in play yesterday. You were a candidate, Stephen, but Victoria and Anna, you went head-to-head -head as headhunters. Stephen, third time as a headhunter? Yes. Is this the day? Third time's a charm, that's what they say. Um, and when you're not doing quizzes, um, your little hobbies are here, an escape room, you like escape rooms? Yeah, quite like escape rooms. I've yeah. done quite a few with my partner okay. and um, sister. You any good at them? Because you're not doing that well escaping this one <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we tend to do really well at them. Uh, that's we a teamwork have, game, yeah, isn't teamwork. it? Yeah. You want to form the best team to be able to succeed, and that's hopefully what we'll do today as well. Yep. You're going to team up rather than go solo? Hopefully, yes, yeah, okay. absolutely. Victoria, I hear you've got a cherry picker licence, is that correct? Yeah, I do. You so, work in cyber security, when's that been? So, so I manage the global headquarters for a cyber security firm okay. and we have a really large atrium, so we buy a very large Christmas tree. And so... You had <laughs> to get a, a licence <laughs> to use a cherry picker yeah, you do. to put the Christmas tree up? Yeah, pretty much. And it decorating it. And then we came in the next day and it had fallen over, so I had to do it again. Oh, <laughs> OK. Cyber security. So you can yeah, secure well. a tree, but yep. you're in charge of passwords, <laughs> banking and email. Yeah, pretty much. Fair enough. Yeah. Anna, you're very musical, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a professional jazz pianist. A so. professional jazz pianist. Yes. OK. Third down the show, second time as a headhunter. Have you learnt from your last time as a headhunter? Yeah, answer more questions right. Answer more questions right. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, good luck with that. Let's Thanks. see if you do. Um, you are now in competition with one another. Today's categories are... Golf, models, insects, reality TV, ancient history, hobbies, European geography, chart hits and theatre. These categories will remain the same until the very end of the show and you'll have to answer a question correctly from every single one of them to win the cash prize. Stephen, theatre, bit of you? Yeah, this is looking like a really good board today, Rob. Um... Golf, though? Sport hasn't really been my strongest point, but again, maybe like the other days, I can pull a name or a, a course out of the bag, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, insects should be good, hobbies, uh, reality TV, ancient history, chart hits, theatre, yeah, that's a good, good board. Good board for you. OK. Victoria, what about you? I mean, models, it could be, you know, people or little villages. Yeah. You don't know yet. <laughs> Trains. <laughs> we'll have to see. Anything worrying you up there, Victoria? Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but clearly I'm not a golf fan. OK, fair enough. Uh, Anna? Yeah, not loving this one so much as, uh, as yesterday's. Uh, also, I'm really not a golf fan. So that's how the headhunters feel about the categories. Now it's time for them to test the talent pool to see if it's worth paying anyone to help them win the show. <laughs> talent pool, time for another question. Whoever gets it right in the fastest time will become the headhunters' first candidate. Here are the answers. A, parakeet. B, peacock. C, parrot, and D, pelican. And here's the question. What is the national bird of India? Let's see what the correct answer is. Peacock. The fastest person to give the correct answer was... Alex! Oh, my God. Congratulations, you are today's first candidate. Please step forward. <laughs> OK, so Alex, fifth time as a candidate, successful once. <laughs> How are you feeling? When you put it like that, it doesn't sound quite as impressive. <laughs> yeah, sort of. You won, but you also lost four times. Are you a big golfer? Not at all, not sorry, at all. guys. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not what you're looking for. Let's have a look at the categories. Anything on there? Models? I mean, you a pet portrait artist, so you yeah. do quite niche models. <laughs> yeah. Insects? Insects, maybe. Have you ever drawn an ant? <laughs> <laughs> not in detail, no. No. <laughs> Chart hits could be good. Theatre, maybe. Hobbies, potentially, yeah. OK. Alex, before the headhunters make you some cash offers to join their team, they're going to put you to the test by picking categories for you to answer questions from. Each category will feature an easy, medium and hard question worth £50, £100 and £150, respectively. Stephen, as the first headhunter, you get to pick first. Which category do you want Alex to have a go at? Um, I'm going to let Alex have a shot at hobbies. OK. Here are your questions on hobbies. <laughs> What is collected by a bibliophile? 
I think that's hopefully books. Yes, yeah, so for fifty pounds, it's books. Well done. For a hundred, what is collected by a tea gestologist? I've not heard of that before at all. Maybe they collect postcards. No, headhunters. Anna. I'm going to stab at beer mats. Wow, <laughs> very impressive, Anna. There we go. So, for 150 pounds, what is collected by an arctophile? I think it might be teddy bears. Yes, well done. <laughs> Great work. OK, so, two correct there, Alex. One correct from the head under. £300 to add it to the pot. Well done. <laughs> Victoria, you're up next. Which category are you going to pick for Alex? Uh, I'm going to go with chart hits. Here we go. You into your rock? Yeah, I like rock music a lot. OK. Yeah. Here are your questions on chart hits. <laughs> Which band had a UK top ten single with... Yeah. Manic Monday in 1986? That was the Bangles. Yes, well done, £50. Pounds. For a hundred, which band had a UK top ten single with? Yeah. Friday, I'm in love. Uh, it's one of mine and Liam's favourite bands, and now I'm scared in case it's not. The Liam, Cure. your fiance. Yeah, yeah. And what are you going for? The Cure. The Cure. And it's yours and Liam's favourite. Yeah. <laughs> this could really make the wedding awkward if it's wrong. I know, right? Yes, the wedding's back on. Well done, hundred pounds. For one hundred and fifty, which band had a UK top ten single with yeah. "Sunday Morning Call" in two thousand? I don't know this one. Um, gorillas. Gorillas. <laughs> That's not them. <laughs> no, it's not gorillas. Headhunters. <laughs> yes, Victoria. Travis. No, and the answer is. Oasis. Oh, really? OK, well, solid, though. Wow. Two correct. £150 added to the pot. Well done, Alex. <laughs> Anna, you're up last. Which category are you going to pick for Alex? Um, let's try models. Models. <laughs> Here we go. Your questions on models. Oof. Which model married the musician yeah. Seal in 2005? I think that's Heidi Klum. Yes, correct. <laughs> For 100, which model married the musician? Yeah. Ringo Starr in 1981. I, I can't think of anything, sorry. sorry pass. Guys. I can't even guess, yeah. OK, you're going to pass on that one. And Headhunters. <laughs> Anna. I'm not sure, but is it Barbara Bach? For 100 pounds. Yes. <laughs> well done, Anna. <laughs> For 150, which model married the musician? David Bowie in 1992. He was married to Iman, so I'm going to say Iman. Yes, well done. Great round. Between you, £300 added to the pot. Well done. <laughs> Headhunters, after that round, today's jackpot stands at £5,050. You can now offer Alex a slice of that cash to join your team. What categories could she cover for you? Now, Alex, whatever you accept here will be the share of the jackpot if your team wins the show. Alex, you have ten seconds to sell yourself. What are you worth and why? My strength might be just to have that sudden burst of inspiration I've discovered because my brain knows things that I don't, as I often say. So perhaps I can just get that one or two questions that you might not know. OK. Thank you, Alex. Hunters are two heads better than one. Please lock in your bids for Alex. Stephen, what would you like to offer? I think I could work really well with you. I think you've got a really great way of thinking of things. Uh, this isn't my final offer, but I'm going to start at 950. OK. Victoria? Uh, I think we've worked really well together, so I've offered you 1250. Anna? I think I've gone in a bit low here, cos um, <laughs> you were, gave me some great answers when you were on my team last time, which I had no idea about, um, but I started out at 600. 600 pounds. OK, Alex, don't decide which offer to take just yet. Here are some vital stats on today's Headhunters. Before the show, you all took a 100-question general knowledge test. So let's find out the Headhunters' scores. Stephen, you scored 52%. Victoria, you scored 68%. Anna, you scored... 85%. So 
So Alex, you've seen the offers. Who are you thinking about joining? I think I, oh, I hope I would work well with all of you. So it is going to be really tough to decide. I don't know as yet. If they're all on the same amount offered, is there someone you'd go towards? Not yet. OK. Headhunters, you've heard the candidate. You have one final chance to make Alex a counter offer. What are you willing to do to close this deal? Please place your final bids for Alex. OK, let's see their final bids. Ooh. <laughs> the big money there from Victoria <laughs> and from Stephen. Slightly less from Anna. Alex, what are you thinking? Who are you going to join? Purely on the basis that I might be more attractive to the other headhunters, I'm going to go with Anna on 9.50. OK, interesting tactic. You've taken Anna's lower offer, so if she doesn't make it to seal the deal, the headhunter that does can buy you for a reasonable price. Go and join your headhunter. <laughs> OK, back to the talent pool. The person who answers this question quickest will become our next candidate. Here are your answers. A. Matthew, B. Mark, C. Luke, D. John. And here's the question. In terms of the number of words, which gospel in the New Testament is longest? The correct answer is... C. Luke. And the fastest was... Jordan! Congratulations! You're our second candidate. Please step forward. How many days in a row have you been a candidate now? I think this is the third show in a row that I've third been show. on. Okay. Still haven't won yet, though. So. Still haven't won. Today's the day it's got to be, Jordan. I hope so. What on the board are you liking? I'm ashamed to say it, but I like my reality TV. You like Don't be ashamed. <laughs> good stuff. You like reality TV? Yeah, depending on the show. Uh, I think I'd be good on that. Okay. Theatre, I, I used to perform in Amdram, uh, yep. so I might be good at that. Uh, hobbies as well, depending on the subject. Golf? Um, I like mini golf. OK. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully it'll be mini golf, because <laughs> we've not got many golf fans in amongst the game at the moment. Jordan, you're going to play three categories chosen by the Headhunters. Headhunters, where can Jordan fill the holes in your knowledge and help you secure a win? Stephen, what are you thinking? I know Jordan's really good at US geography. Let's try him on European. European geography. Here are your questions, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Which European city is the location of the Brandenburg Gate? I've been there. It's Berlin. Yes, well done. 50 pounds. That's where you went on your way home from Sheffield, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Because Sheffield it was to cheaper London. than a train. You flew to Berlin for two days and then got home. Yeah. I've got so late for every appointment, there. but you, it was three quid cheaper, so well done. <laughs> Eight quid, actually. Eight quid cheaper, that, sorry. That five pound makes all the difference. It does. <laughs> Here we go. For £100, which European city is the location of the... Yeah. La Scala Opera House? I don't know for sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to say Rome. Incorrect. Headhunters. Milan. Yes, well played, Anna. <laughs> OK. For £150, which European city is the location of the... Mannequin Peace Fountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've actually been there as well and I watched it. Oh, you watched yeah. it Peace? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was in Brussels. Yes, it is. Well done. You like your geography. Two correct answers, one correct from you guys, which means £300 added to the pot. Well done. <laughs> Victoria, which category would you like Jordan to play? I think we'll go reality TV. OK. OK. Try and add some money to the pot. Reality TV. Mm -hmm. Here are your three questions. Who is the voiceover artist for the UK TV show no. The Only Way is Essex? <sighs> I've, I'll guess that it's one of the cast and I'll say Joey Essex. It's incorrect. Headhunters? Is it Denise Van Outen? Let's have a look. Yes. <laughs> correct. £50. Pounds. For £100, who is the voiceover artist for the UK TV show yeah. Love Island? Oh, gosh. I can replicate the voice, but I don't know his name. What you got? How does it go? We Tonight are in... on Love Island. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> um... On Love Island. <laughs> I don't know his name. You don't know? Um, 
I'll pass. Headhunters. Ian Stalling. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Well done. Ian Stalling. Well done. Fellow Scot good. Scotsman. Yeah, that's a good accent. Ian yeah. Stalling. Hey. Is that any good? <laughs> Probably not. OK. <laughs> For £150, who is the voiceover artist for the UK TV show Come Dine With Me? Oh, gosh. Again, I know the voice, but I don't know the name. Um, I don't know. The pass? Yeah, I'll pass. Headhunters? <laughs> yes, Anna. Dave Lamb? Yes, correct. Well played. Thank well done, Anna. OK, um, not a great round for you, Jordan, but the Headhunters did very well and put £300 into the pot. Well done. <laughs> You're up now. Which category would you like Jordan Maybe to play? Like hobbies, theatre or ancient history, I feel like. Out of those. Um, let's go ancient history. Don't look too happy with that, Jordan. Uh, modern history I'm better on than ancient history, I'd say. Yeah. But I'll give it a go. Here are your questions on ancient history. Which ancient kingdom was once ruled by... No. Ramesses II? I'll say Egypt. Yes, well done, 50 pounds. Which ancient kingdom was once ruled by no. Xerxes the First? I'll say Greece. Incorrect. Headhunters. This is a guess. Is it Babylon? Is it Babylon? It's incorrect. The correct answer is no. Persia. Okay, for 150 pounds. Which ancient kingdom was once ruled by no. Hammurabi? Let's try Babylon. OK. Yes, well done. Good work, Jordan. Well done, you got two right. £200 added to the pot. Congratulations. <laughs> After that round, today's jackpot now stands at... £5,850. You can offer Jordan a slice of that cash to join you. Think about what he knows and what you don't. Jordan, whatever you accept here will be the price on your head and the money you'll get if your team wins the show. Jordan, you now have 10 seconds to sell yourself. What are you worth and why would you be a great buyer? I think with all three of you, I can add a lot to your team. There's a lot of categories up there which I think I could be strong at. Um, and I've proven myself in the past. Bring me on at the right price and I'll be yours. <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite flirty, the end part of your sales pitches. <laughs> I'll be yours. <laughs> OK, headhunters, time to make your bid for Jordan. OK, Stephen, how much would you like to bid for Jordan? Again, this is just my opening offer. It's the same as before, 950. 950. Victoria? I'm doing something quite similar, so I've gone for 1,000. 1,000. And Anna? Uh, I've gone in a bit low because I think we know quite a lot of the same things, like we're probably good on job fee and yep. stuff, but um, I kind of need to save the money in case there's a golf person that comes up next. So I've gone £250. OK. So Jordan, in that round, put £900 into the <laughs> pot and you're offering £250, Anna. <laughs> yep, don't care at all. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, on reflection, that's quite stingy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. OK, but you are looking to fill a gap in your golf knowledge and I don't think you're the man for that. Maybe not. No, OK, fair <laughs> enough. Before you decide which offer to take, here's the previous candidate, Alex's general knowledge score. 75%. A strong team being built over there by Anna. OK, so you've seen the offers, you've seen the stats. Is there anyone you're leaning towards? I mean, great offers from both Stephen and Victoria, for sure. But then, over there, that's already a very, very strong team. Even though it is low, I'm, I'm debating that team as well. Headhunters, you've heard the candidate. You all have one final chance to make Jordan a counter-offer to bag him for your team. Please, can you place your final bids? OK, let's reveal the Headhunters' final bids. Oh, still 250. Only Victoria has gone up. OK. Jordan, who are you going to join? Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> this might be the stupidest decision I've ever made. Come on, mate, you went to Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get home from Sheffield to save eight quid. I'm going to go with Anna's team. Oh, 
you're going to go with Anna's I'm for 250. Go with Anna. Okay, yeah. you've accepted Anna's offer of 250 pounds. <laughs> Please go and join your team. <laughs> Talent pool, you now face a final qualifier for the last chance to join a headhunter today. Here are the four answers. A, Theodore Roosevelt, B, John Adams, C, George Washington, D, Thomas Jefferson. And here's the question. Which of these US presidents is not represented in the Mount Rushmore Memorial? Let's find out what the correct answer was. B, John Adams. For the last time today, let's see who was the fastest. Charlotte, well done. <laughs> Congratulations. You are our final candidate. Please step forward. Well done, Charlotte. Hello again. Hello. You've uh, you've been a candidate. You've been yeah. a headhunter. Back as a candidate again yeah. today. First things first, golf. Um, I taught golf when I worked on a summer camp, but that's probably not going to be of any help. OK. Like, I couldn't name many golfers or anything like that, no, but, so... But you know about the, the game and the rules and stuff? Yeah. OK, fair enough. That could be interesting. Stephen, what would you like Charlotte to play? I know Charlotte loves musicals, just like I do, so I'm going to give her a shot at theatre. Let's theater. hope it's musical theatre. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Here are your questions on theatre. <sighs> In which play does... Blanche Dubois say, I have always depended on the kindness of strangers. OK, so I go to a lot of musicals. That could be a musical, it's not one I've seen. I uh, don't watch as many, like, just straight, so straight plays. Straight plays, yeah. Um, <sighs> Tempest. Incorrect. Headhunters. Yes. A streetcar named Desire. Yes, well done. <laughs> For £100, in which play does... Lady Bracknell say, a handbag. Um, oh, I should know that. But I don't. OK. Pass. Let's pass, headhunters. Anna. Um, the importance of being earnest. Yes, well done, £100. <laughs> For 150 in which play does... John Proctor say, because it is my name. Again, it's just this particular thing in theatre just isn't is my it? strength. It's not your strength, OK. Um, West Side Story. No, incorrect, I'm afraid. Headhunters. Yes. Is it The Crucible? Yes, well played. Know. Not your strong point there, Charlotte, but Anna, well done. £300 added to the bank. Congratulations. <laughs> Victoria, you're up next. I think I'll go for hobbies. Hobbies. Really? <laughs> okay. No? You're going for hobbies? You can change what it. You can do. What would you like? Reality TV. Reality TV, <laughs> okay. please, Rob. No worries. Here are your questions on reality TV. Which TV talent show has a spin off program subtitled An Extra Slice? The Great British Bake Off. Yes, well done. 50 pounds. <laughs> for 100 pounds. Which TV talent show has a spin-off programme subtitled It Takes Two? Strictly Come Dancing. Yes, you're on fire. Well done, Charlotte. <laughs> For 150, which TV talent show has a spin-off programme subtitled Defrosted? The Jump was set in snow. OK. So I don't know if it had a spin-off, but The Jump. <laughs> oh, good guess, but not <laughs> right. Headhunters? Uh, Darcy on Ice? Yes, well played. <laughs> OK, well, between you guys, £300 for the pot. Congratulations. <laughs> Anna, you're up next. You said you're struggling with golf. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try golf. <laughs> OK, here we go. I know one golf player, so if it's players, it's going to be the Which other. one do you know? Tiger Woods. <laughs> Tiger Woods, OK. Good luck. Here's golf. Which golfer is known by the nickname... Yeah. Golden Bear? Tiger Woods. <laughs> no, it's not. Headhunters. Nick Felder? Yeah. Incorrect. The correct answer is... Yeah. Jack Nicholas. OK, for £100, which golfer is known by the nickname... Yeah. El Nino? Hmm, Tiger Woods. <laughs> Tiger Woods? No, it's not. Headhunters. Sevi Belasteros? 
<laughs> it's Sorry. not. El Nino is Sergio Garcia. For 150 pounds, which golfer is known by the nickname? <laughs> Walrus. Definitely not, but Tiger Woods. OK, Tiger Woods is <laughs> Tiger Woods. No incorrect headhunters. Stephen. Colin Montgomery. Colin Montgomery. You're just picking <laughs> Scottish people again. Just a panicked Scottish man. That's your... <laughs> your guys are... Rapsy Nesbitt. <laughs> Here we go, Rapsy Nesbitt. OK. Is it Colin Montgomery? <laughs> Incorrect. The answer is... Yeah. Craig Stadler. No score there for you, Charlotte. All the headhunters as golf is obviously a tough round for you guys. <laughs> headhunters, after that round today, total jackpot will be... 6,450. <laughs> you can now offer Charlotte a slice of that cash to join you. Charlotte, you have 10 seconds to sell yourself how much you're worth and why. I do have some knowledge in places. Um, when I know it, I know it. When I don't, I'll just be quiet. Um, yeah, reality TV I'm really strong on. If musical theatre comes up, I'll be a really big help, just not plays. Modern music I'm decent at, so chart hits could be OK. okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Charlotte. OK, you've heard from the candidate. Time to lock in your offer. <laughs> Stephen, what's your offer? Same as everyone else. I think we could complement each other in some of these categories. 950. 950. Victoria. Well, there's, re there's logic behind it. So it was four times what you put into the pot. Yeah. And I thought, if you come and join me, they're more likely to pick you up if I get dropped out. Yeah. That was my logic. That's understandable. How much? 600. 600 pounds. And Anna? This is a, quite a low offer. It's not any reflection on your general knowledge, because you do know some really good stuff, but I think some of the things that you're good at, we might have yeah, no, people on the team. I expected it, if I'm honest. Things. Like, So um, I'm going to offer 100 pounds. OK. Oh, it's a bit tight. Andrew, even you would go 250, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tightest man in the room. I think that's a lie. You would have. <laughs> <laughs> so, before you decide which offer to take, here's the previous candidate, Jordan's general knowledge score, who joined Anna's team. 55%. Charlotte, you've seen the offers and you've seen the stats. Which team are you thinking of joining? Stephen and Victoria, they're both really generous offers. Anna, you've got a really strong team. If it was a little bit higher, 200, 250, then I will come just in case I'm a little bit of a help somewhere. <laughs> OK, so, Headhunters, you've heard the candidate. You have one final chance to make Charlotte a counter-offer and claim the last candidate today. Stephen and Victoria need to make Charlotte an offer she can't refuse, otherwise they could be playing their head-to-head -head round alone against Anna's already strong team. Or will she go to Anna despite the low offer? Let's reveal your final bids. On purpose, like, I was trying to... I was either, do I stick with what I put, yeah. or they're more likely to take you on, cos obviously she's a bit stingy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I saw you and Jordan have a bit of a deliberation, Anna, over your bid. We were just discussing, like, what would make us more of a target, yeah. like, if there were more people on our team. OK, I so... mean, I think jo Jordan's not the man to try and increase a bid, the, uh, the money... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. OK, fair enough. So, these are the final bids. Charlotte, who are you going to join? Well, I'm going to rule Stephen out. I think we would play really well together, but I'm thinking in terms of being picked up if I need to be. I'm not probably going to be on 950. This may not make the most sense, cos it's reduced, but I'm going to go with Victoria. OK, you've accepted Victoria's offer of £450. Go and join your headhunter. <laughs> To complete all of our information on today's contestants, let's reveal Charlotte's general knowledge score. 29%. We all know it was a bad day. We've seen it before. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so, no further candidates will emerge from the pool. Better luck tomorrow. The hunters have now recruited their heads. It's time for them to go head to head. <laughs> Headhunters, you've each got five lives. In this round, you will select another headhunter to face a category of your choice. For every incorrect answer, a life will be lost. Lose all five lives and you are out of the game, thrown back into the talent pool to try again tomorrow. The last hunter standing will go through to play for the cash. Stephen, you qualified first. Which category and which hunter? I am going to get rid of golf from the board and I'm going to give it to Anna's team. OK. 
to be expected golf for you, Anna. <laughs> Here you go. Three questions, five lives remaining. Which golf club is known as the home of golf? Yeah, St Andrews. St Andrews? Yes. Congratulations, well played. Question two, which golf club did Kim Jong-il allegedly score a 38 under par at in 1994? I can only think of Augusta. Wasn't even there, probably. <laughs> um, Augusta? Incorrect. The answer is... Oh. Pyongyang Golf Club. It was his first ever round of golf as well. Yeah. Shocker. Uh, yeah. Did Beginner's well. luck. Should have, stuck to, should have stuck to that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you lose a life, I'm afraid. Which golf club hosted the 2019 US Open? Was that Augusta? Did you watch Did you it? <laughs> I missed that one. Um, what's Flashing Meadows? Is that tennis? Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> you better go for Augusta. Augusta. <laughs> Augusta. <laughs> Uh, Incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> the answer is... No. Pebble Beach Golf Links. You lose another life, I'm afraid. Not too bad, though. It was golf. You've got one correct in golf, which is your weakest category. OK, you have the power now, Anna. Which category and which hunter? Um, we'll yeah, throw this one to Victoria and Charlotte for ancient history. OK, so ancient history for Victoria. Which historical figure who ruled the Huns was known as the Scourge of God? Mm. Uh, I... We think it might be Attila the Hun. Yes, yes well done. <laughs> Next up, which historical figure ruled the Mongol Empire until his death in 1294? The chap on the horse with the hair. <laughs> well, are you going to go for Victoria? The chap on the horse with the hair. The chap <laughs> on the horse with the hair. No, it's not. The correct answer is... Kublai Khan. You lose a life, I'm afraid. Next up, which historical figure led the Carthaginian forces against Rome in the Second Punic War? Never heard of that war, not gonna lie. I'm not, we don't know. Pass on that one. The correct answer was... Hannibal. Oh, you lose him. another life, I'm afraid. Oh, nice but you do have the power. Which headhunter would you like to go for and which category? I'm, I'm sure going to throw you. insects at... Uh, not literally, but... <laughs> 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 I'm going to throw can't... insects at Stephen. OK. <laughs> so, here you go, Stephen, on your own. Good luck, mate. Cheers. Three questions on insects. Which insect yeah. has a common UK variety called Seven Spot? Uh, only because it's the only insect I know that has spots, a ladybird. Yes, well played. <laughs> Next up, which insect yeah. is the UK's largest species of beetle? I've got a few that I might go for, but I'm going to say dung beetle. Incorrect. OK, let's see what the correct answer is. Yeah. Stag okay. beetle. Did you lose a life? Next one. Which insect yeah. is used to make the natural dye carmine? Um... I am going to guess ant. OK. Incorrect, I'm afraid. The correct answer? No. Cochineal. OK, you lose another life, Stephen. Which category would you like to pick for which headhunter? I am going to send over models to Anna's team. You've got three lives and three questions, so the pressure's on. Which celebrity supermodel no. was named the world's highest paid model by Forbes magazine in 2018? Gigi Hadid is on my mind. Yeah. She's young. Or oh, there's the girl with the eyebrows, Cara Delevingne. Oh, but they're just... that's a good shout. 2018. She did, a... she did a couple of films. Or oh, Giselle. It's up to you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm putting those three names across. Um, we'll go Cara Delevingne. No, it's not. Let's see what the correct answer is. Yeah. Kendall oh, Jenner. Even, yeah. OK, unlucky, you lose another life. Okay. Next question. Oh, Which celebrity it. supermodel yeah. became a UN Environment Goodwill Ambassador in 2009? Uh, I don't know. Kate Moss. Incorrect. 
Oh. The correct answer was. Ah, yeah. uh, that's just. Giselle Bunchen. There she is. <laughs> you lose another life. You are down now to the last question on models. You have one life left. If you get this wrong, you'll be knocked out of the game. Which celebrity supermodel is the sister-in-law of Ivanka Trump? Um, Gigi Hadid again? No, it's not her either. Kate Moss. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's not. Say Kate Moss again. OK, to stay in the game, if this is wrong, you'll be knocked out. Is it Kate Moss? <laughs> Incorrect, I'm afraid. The correct answer? Yeah. Right. Carly Kloss. Yeah, that's yeah. all right. <laughs> She's married to Josh Kushner. Anna, I'm afraid your game's over today, but Alex and Jordan, you might get one last reprieve at the end of this round. <laughs> it's now down to just Stephen and Victoria. Stephen, you're in control after knocking out Anna. Which category would you like Charlotte and Victoria to play? I'm going to try and leave my stronger subjects up there just in case they throw it back. So I'm going to send them European geography. OK. Here we go, Victoria. Yeah. You have three lives, three questions. The pressure's on. Which European capital city sits at the mouth of the river Liffey? I want to say Dublin. That's what I was going towards. That was my yeah. instinct. I'm going to go Dublin. Yes, well played. <laughs> OK, next question. Which European capital city had the Roman name Lutetia? I'm swaying towards Portugal because of Lusitania. Yeah? Really no, know. I'd say that could be a good shout. Uh, well, Lisbon's the capital of Portugal. Yeah. yeah. We're going to go to Lisbon. OK. Incorrect, I'm afraid. The answer is... Yeah. Paris. Oh, there you oh. go. And you lose yeah. another life. Which European capital city yeah. is located on the islands of Zealand and Omega? So it's the, it'll be the capital of the Netherlands. Right. Which is, is Amsterdam? Dan? Possibly. I should really know this, because Zealand, New Zealand is because of the trade in... Yeah. Amsterdam. Incorrect, I'm afraid. The answer is... Yeah. Copenhagen. Oh. You lose oh, another life. You have one life remaining, but you get to pick a category for Stephen. I, I, I say TV or maybe hobbies. I say, hobbies is that wide. It could play really strong, or it could be terrible for him. What? And you like reality TV? Yeah. Well, can we give Stephen uh, hobbies? Okay, hobbies for Stephen. You have three lives remaining. Three questions, Stephen. Good luck. Which board game was adapted into a 2012 film? Starring Liam Neeson and Rihanna. Battleship. Let's see if that's there. Well played. Congratulations, Stephen. Are you into your board games? Yeah. yeah. You're a keen gamer. Board yeah. games and computer games, OK. Which board game yeah. is played using cowrie shells and has a Hindi name meaning 25? I'm going to take a guess, even though it won't be right, but say Mahjong. Incorrect, I'm afraid. The correct answer? No. Pachisi. OK, so you lose a line. Two lives remaining, one question. Which board game no. was called Crisscross when it was first developed by Alfred Butts in 1931? I'm going to say Connect Four. Incorrect, I'm afraid. The answer is no. Scrabble. <sighs> that was tough. OK, you lose another life. However, Stephen, that battleship answer kept you in the game. You get to pick a category for Victoria to play, who is on one life. I'm going to say, just because she didn't do too well in it, and I know Victoria doesn't really know very much, I'm going to say theatre. Theatre. Victoria, you have one life remaining. If you get this next question wrong, you'll be knocked out of the game. Which 20th century play was famously reviewed as a play in which nothing happens twice? Now, that makes me think there was some sort of improvisation in it. Or there's a storyline that happens twice. Yeah. It's... It can't be the mouse trap. Mouse trap. Mm. So what are you going to go for, Victoria? Uh, the mouse trap. Mouse trap. OK. If this is wrong, you'll be knocked out. If it's correct, you'll get another question. It's incorrect, oh, I'm afraid. The correct answer? No, don't be silly. 
Waiting Never heard of Pagoda. It. Oh, yeah, that old classic. <laughs> you lose your final life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Anna and Victoria, as losing headhunters, you'll both be returning to the talent pool. But losing candidates Alex, Jordan and Charlotte, you have one last opportunity to go through to the final round today. Stephen, for knocking out the other two headhunters, you can now recruit any of their candidates for the price on their head. You've got 6,450. Charlotte is available for 450. Alex is available for 950. And Jordan is available for 250 pounds. So, would you like Alex to join you for £950. Absolutely. OK. Thank you. Would you like Jordan to join you for £250? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and would you like Charlotte to join you for £450? I think our, like, strengths lie in the same places, so I'm going to say no. OK. Alex and Jordan, you're going to be playing with Stephen for the jackpot. Everyone else, we'll see you tomorrow. It now just remains to be seen if you can seal the deal. <laughs> OK, Stephen, Alex and Jordan to win today's jackpot, which stands at £6,450. You now have 90 seconds to answer one question correctly from each category on that board. It's time to seal the deal. Here we go. Your time starts now. Golf. Between 1989 and 96, which English golfer won three British Opens and three US Masters? Nick Faldo. Correct. Models. Which supermodel married film director Matthew Vaughan in 2002? No. No, pass. Claudia Schiffer. Insects. Which fine insect is sometimes known as the devil's darning needle? Mosquito. Incorrect. Dragonfly. <laughs> reality TV. In 2018, Alex Hoban became the first winner of which Channel 4 reality TV show? Oh, uh, Big Brother. Incorrect. The Circle. Ancient history. The mausoleum of China's first emperor is guarded by which sculptures? Terracotta Army. Terracotta uh, Army. Correct. Hobbies. In the original version of Trivial Pursuit, the blue questions focused on which subject? Geography. Correct. European geography. Which mountain range extends along the border between France and Spain? Pyrenees. Pyrenees. Correct. Chart hits. What is the task of the 1970 UK number one single by Clive Dunn? Pass. Grandad. Theatre. Bob Fosse won his first Tony Award in 1955 for choreographing which Broadway musical? Uh, Chicago. Incorrect. Pajama game. British model Oliver Cheshire got engaged to which pop star in 2016? Pa Justin Bieber. Incorrect. Pixie Lock. Insects. Salt, marsh, yellow fever and Asian tiger are types of which insect? Ant. Incorrect. Mosquito. <laughs> reality TV. Which 2012 reality show was based in Wales and starred Letitia Grace and Jenna Jonathan? Pass. The Valleys. <laughs> Chart hits. Which rapper had the UK number one in 2010 with their debut single, Pass Out? Um, Tony Temple. Tony Temple. Correct. No, I'm sorry, you ran out of time. Nobody wins today. But the good news is the jackpot will roll over and you can all return to the talent pool and try and win it tomorrow. Join us tomorrow where there's big money to be won, but only for some. See you then.